75 years after its creation, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is still indispensable. The UK government renews our steadfast commitment to protecting and promoting all these rights enshrined in the Declaration through five key pledges. Firstly, we pledge to support human rights defenders who do incredible work in the field, who all too often risk everything in standing up for the rights that they defend and the rights, importantly, of others. Our second pledge is also on securing equality for all. Importantly, to advance the rights of women and girls. And we, the United Kingdom, commit that by 2030, at least 80% of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office's bilateral aid programs will have a focus specifically on that, on women, on girls, on gender equality. We also support the rights of the LGBT community. And in this regard, we commit to provide £40 million over five years to organisations, organisations at the grassroots. And importantly, we also commit to extend two of our life-changing disability programmes to 2026. Importantly, continuing to support organisations of people with disabilities and to ensure and promote that disability inclusive development. Our third pledge is something that I've prioritised and indeed championed, that people of all faiths or none should be free to manifest their religion or beliefs as they wish. The UK's fourth pledge is also a key one to empower and engage with survivors of modern slavery. Survivors, in my mind, should be at the center of international efforts to tackle this global scourge. The UK's fifth pledge is on promoting responsible practice within private military and security companies, particularly in the oil, gas, mineral and agricultural sectors. The United Kingdom remains committed to working with key partners across the world and with other member states with civil society organisations to make the vision of this incredible declaration a reality for everyone, everywhere across the world.